Experts from China and Africa have gathered in Cape Town to see how the sides can use advancements in science and technology to boost cooperation. Rene Delcarm has the story. Chinese and African scientists, researchers and policymakers met at the 6th International Symposium on China-Africa Science and Technology Cooperation. They agreed that by joining forces, China and Africa could push their cooperation in science and technology to new heights. This year we saw a lot of MOU on the field of science and technology signed between China and South Africa. We believe uh, since the bilateral relations of these two great nations entered a, a golden era, the cooperation of mutual benefit, benefit between these two countries has a very promising future. With the world geopolitical climate at the moment being where it is, with conflict in Europe and in the Middle East, I don't think there is a more important time for people to sit down and actually talk to each other, to try to understand each other at least, and to collaborate and form partnerships. And I believe that the China-Africa partnerships are really crucial to solving many of the problems that Africa faces. African geoscience and hydrophysics experts discussed the innovative work they were doing in water scarce countries such as Namibia and South Africa, in areas such as monitoring surface water resources and groundwater research, but said they could not do it alone. The main purpose of getting together here today is to showcase our research output and activities that we do in groundwater space with the intention of attracting partners and collaborators to continue funding our research activities. And if we get those resources, we can broaden our recruitment scope. We want to recruit regionally and globally, and therefore we need to discuss collaboration with the China counterparts where they can invest into such initiatives. Chinese experts said some of their cutting-edge satellite technology products, which help them calculate key components of the Earth's energy budget, could be beneficial to countries across Africa. From uh, 2009 or uh, 08 in China, uh, there is a quick development about the satellite. So some of the technologies, I, I think, can benefit South Africa and other parts of Africa about the data collection and the product development and the monitor the land surface condition. At the end of the conference, delegates agreed to look at what science and technology projects Chinese and African universities can collaborate on in the near future. Rene Dalcom, CGTN, Cape Town, South Africa.